Bill Elliott unable to get out of fifth. All right, there's going to be one lap to go as of right now. So we are on the last lap. Morgan Shepard with the lead. Dale Earnhardt right in position. It is the classic confrontation of stock car racing. The only question, when will Earnhardt make his move, and can he get by? I don't believe he can slipstream by. I don't think he can draft by. I think he has to get him in the turn. They are going into the last turn. This is Earnhardt's last chance. As you can see, he can attack, but can he get by? Checkered flag is out and ready. Morgan Shepard never seen one before in a super speedway race. Here is the checkered flag, and there is Morgan Shepard's first super speedway victory. And there is the celebration in Morgan Shepard's pit. And this was a quite unexpected accomplishment. 44-year-old Morgan Shepard of Conover, North Carolina. Former champion in a class called sportsman racing. That's a long way from winning a super speedway NASCAR event as he has just done today. You saw Dale Earnhardt pull alongside him, obviously to congratulate him, to give him a congratulatory wave. That is a bitter defeat for several very highly touted drivers that have just finished right behind Morgan Shepard. And it's a big win for General Motors cars, which have frequently eaten Ford exhaust here at Atlanta in the past. First Ford is back there in fifth, the Bill Elliott car. He never could bring himself loose from there. Shepard in a Buick, Earnhardt in a GM car, Labonte in a GM car, Waltrip held fourth place in a GM car, and Bill Elliott, as you saw, finished fifth. This is exciting because you realize the way the prize money is structured. This could very well be the beginning of a real leap forward for Morgan Shepard in terms of his career. Turn four, white flag, there's Earnhardt. One more lap around the one and a half mile racetrack here at Atlanta. And the salutes begin to both Morgan Shepard and Dale Earnhardt. Morgan Shepard from Conover, North Carolina. Twice runner-up this year in Winston Cup competition here at Atlanta in March and at Charlotte in the second race. Dale Earnhardt from Kannapolis, North Carolina and the Richard Childress crew are about to win the Winston Cup championship and all the prestige and the million dollars that goes with it. Here's the checkered flag. Morgan Shepard wins. Jeff Bodine crosses in second. Dale Earnhardt finishes third and wins the Winston Cup. He becomes only the second driver to win the championship more than three times. And Mark Martin is going to finish this race in fifth position. There's Richard Hilton. Shepard goes to the victory lane. I guarantee you he can hear everything in that car when it moves here. On the go. Go for the white flag in hand. And he waves it over to Sue and Morgan Shepard. Last lap. In his pit, Glenn and Eddie were the Youngerwood brothers. Tell him, Glenn. Tell him go on. He's talking to Randy. He's a clever body. I think they got the Energizer Bunny in that car. He's still going. He's still going. 105 miles on one tank of fuel. He has the lead to coast home from here. In turn four, to the front straightaway. The winner biggest cliffhangers we've had in a long time. Morgan Shepard wins it for the Wood Brothers. Boy, oh boy. Good bunch of people to tell you. Bernie Irvin has the gas to go the distance and finish second. Looks like he's almost going to burn slow. Margin of victory, 17 and a half seconds. Rusty Wallace finishes third. Harry Gant is out of gas, coasting across the line. We'll be right back.